Hello Libra, I'm here to give you insight and guidance and I ask that spirit of love and light meets you where you're at in this current space and time. So this is going to be a general reading for the month of September, so it's not going to apply to all Libras. So just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. So I've already pulled some cards out and I'm using the Heal Yourself reading cards. So the first card we have here is Soulmate. So some of you could have soulmate, a soulmate on the brain, okay? You know, you guys are the seventh house. You do re relationships and partnerships, so um, I'm not surprised. Um, and then we have rejection. And then say what you mean. Okay, so Libra. Some of you could be desiring a soulmate, okay? Um, you could be reminiscing about a soulmate, someone that you were connected with that has passed on. Okay. If this is not the case, this is someone that you have left behind. Okay. You've decided to leave behind. They're just a figment of your imagination. I'm hearing here. Okay. For others of you, that's not the case. Um, there is like an energy of feeling isolated. It's like there is an energy of like isolating yourself here, Libra. You could be isolating yourself from a soulmate, rejecting a soulmate. Um, this is someone who is very fixed. This could have been um, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, like energy like this, okay? Because this there's a picture frame here and I'm getting like an image of fixed, like fixed energy. So someone that was fixed, this is someone that you've waited for a long time. Maybe you waited for them to step up to the plate. Uh, maybe you've waited for them to um, play their role. I'm hearing, uh, there's a song called Walking with the Ghosts by, I think it's Nancy and Tegan. It's a really cool song. It's actually on my playlist, but it was like you were walking with the ghost the whole time. This is somebody who wasn't really um, openly, like they were affectionate, but not affectionate as how you wanted them to be. Okay. All right. Um, this person played the the this person played the back seat a lot that's what i'm hearing like they really weren't like the main character like they were they were like the main person in your life but they played like the extra role like they weren't really active in this connection or in this relationship that's for some of you not all of you okay um but i do see that there is um, a yearning for a soulmate a yearning for someone that understands you that loves you that can embrace you that can um uh, really be your partner be your best friend like there's there's a desire for that and you some of you Libras are feeling rejected okay um seeing some cobwebs here maybe there's reject you're feeling rejected because of your age or you're feeling rejected because of your past there's maybe something that you're still holding on to um it's like there's a need for you to clean out your closet so you can welcome in this um this love that you're wanting. I mean, there's people who get married at like 80, okay, or find their, the love of their lives at 80. Does, there's, age is nothing but a, uh, a number and time is, is, a, is an illusion. Well, I'm having a hard time getting the words out. But yeah, time's an illusion, okay? So when it says, say what you mean, I see this really as, um, for some of you, you could be involved with someone, but there's a need for you to say what you mean. Um, no giving mixed sig signals, no being indecisive, really be straight up, okay, about what you're wanting. There is someone who is very upset because you have rejected them, I see here, Libra, okay, but for others of you, it's important that you say what you mean, meaning, you know, if you're wanting a certain type of life or you're wanting happiness in your life, declare it. Make it happen for yourself. Believe it. Some of you could be losing yourselves in physical relationships with people. Okay. It's like you've been in the shadow of this person or you're, you tend to fall into the shadows of your relationship. Like you kind of lose your identity. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay. There could have been some harsh words that were shared between you and a person here. Okay. Because I'm looking at this warrior and he has his sword here. 
Um, he seems pretty reserved, but he also looks ready. Okay, I'm, I'm hearing someone that's scorned, a woman scorned. So someone could be scorned or someone could be very hurt over some words. And so in return, you're rejecting this person. You're leaving them in the dust. You're making them a figment of your imagination. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay. Um, let's see what else is going on with Libra. Libra, Libra. Okay, also for some of you, if you feel like your partner has been acting like a damn ghost, say what you mean and mean what you say. Maybe set some healthy boundaries or maybe say, you know what, if you don't get it together or if you're not going to work on building this relationship, a healthy relationship, then I got to do what I got to do. Set the healthy boundaries, okay? That's for some of you. You need to do that. You need to say what you mean. If you're wanting a healthy relationship work at it if the person's not willing to work at it then you need to do what you gotta do <laughs> i see that some of you is like okay you don't want to listen bye <laughs> and they're looking all mad and it's like you should have known I've, I've been telling you to act right do what you gotta do and you know if you gotta be in a relationship you gotta tell someone how to act if you gotta tell somebody how to act it's like no you don't need that you don't need to deal with that shit Especially if you don't know how to act. You're trying to tell somebody else how to act. Okay, what else is going on with Libra? Libra, Libra. Libra. Some of you guys could have rejected someone and you're missing them. But this person's ego is not going to allow them to come out and say, I miss you. Don't leave me. They're not going to do that because it's their ego and their fixed. Their fixed energy. Okay. What else is going on with um, Libra? I almost wanted to say Scorpio. What else is going on with um, Libra? Some of you guys could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. Ooh, Knight of Swords, Two of Wands, Nine of Swords, and Karma. Oh my God. Oh, Knight of Swords, Two of Wands. Wow, you got karma and nine of swords here. Huh. So nine of swords, I'm seeing that um, some of you Libras made an impulsive decision or maybe um, this nine of swords could have been an energy, like a maybe verbal aggression, somebody that used their communication to hurt you. Um, Okay, I'm hearing making a run for it as well. Some of you Libras are making a run for it. You're not allowing anything to distract you. Um, I'm hearing full steam ahead. Um, I'm hearing it's go time. Okay, Libra. Um, you got the world in your hands and you're doing what's best for you. Some of you Libras, there is still a sense of indecisiveness. It's like you know what you, you, know you want to do. You know, you know where you need to go, but there's still like a sense of indecisiveness. Maybe you're trying to figure out where you're going to go, you know, um, what's next. Okay. I do see, <laughs> I'm hearing like a bat out of hell. Someone had left like a bat out of hell, maybe left the situation or um, maybe their communication was like a bat out of hell. It's like an energy like that. Okay. So... That's what I see here. Um, I'm seeing that somebody has decided to move on. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. But I do see like a fire sign person moving on. You could have fire in your chart. But there is a lot of anxiety surrounding this. Okay. Restlessness. And this could be because maybe you're, you're not knowing what's next. Um, there is a sense of paranoia. There is uh, maybe um, there's a fear of karma okay like okay if I, if I take this step for or if I make this decision something bad's gonna happen like there's an energy of like uh, like feeling like insecure feeling like you're not going to be able to survive or have a sense of like protection sounds really weird okay some of you um could just be suffering from anxiety okay um, and it's because of choices, some type of choice you feel like, some type of choice you've made, you feel like maybe it's 
wasn't a good choice or maybe you feel like the choice that you're needing to make is maybe not the best choice. Okay. Uh, what is this, Nine of Swords? What is this? I'm hearing, I'm trying to put the puzzles together. I'm trying to put the pieces together. So you could have a lot of anxiety because you're trying to put the pieces together as far as your life goes and where you're going. This has something to do with travel. Okay, that's going to be taking place. Um, this could be spiritually. You're going through this anxiety. Okay, you could be you could be tormented. Okay, you could you could be tormented spiritually. Okay, what is this nine of swords? Um, I feel like you're doing the right thing, Libra. This decision, okay, or whatever has transpired is the right thing. Five of Pentacles. So you could fear poverty. You could fear maybe not being able to make ends meet or survive some way. You could also have fear surrounding your health, work. Um, yeah, I mean, it's normal to worry about those things. Unfortunately, it's, it's normal. Um, I feel like we shouldn't have to worry about surviving on, on this earth if, you know, God created it. But we ain't going to go too deep into that. But, yeah, there is concern about some type of security um, there could be fear about just being left out in the cold, okay, being left homeless or being left without security. Um, this can even be fear of spending money for some of you, okay. All right, what's this karma? Um, what's this karma? And this could be because of codependency. This could be an energy of codependency. Karma, what is karma? Four of Swords. So, I feel like you need to just relax, okay? Just chill out. Just chill out, um, Libra. Okay, there's nothing for you to really worry about. And let's marry these cards to show us that there's nothing to worry about. So, this is what you're worrying about. Like, there's money, some type of security, okay? Okay, some of you, I don't know if I said this, but some of you could have been cut off or rejected, like I said. Um, somebody cut you off. Soulmate doesn't have to be romantic. It could have been just family, friendships, could be anything. Marry these cards, the five of my pentacles and I have to Yep, I married the cards, so the emperor. So you're the emperor. There's nothing for you to worry about, okay? Okay, some of you are entrepreneurs. You could be worried about um, your business, but there's no need for you to worry about this. You know, tap into the emperor energy. This is Aries energy. Um, opposite sign of Aries is Libra. So Libra, when you're feeling indecisive, of not really feeling like you know what's really going on, tap into that Aries energy, that I am energy, that first house energy, you know, the energy of the self. Tap into that energy and and get into boss mode start strategizing okay if you know that maybe uh finances are going to be a bit tight come up with a strategic plan maybe you need to downsize or maybe you need to cut out certain bills like make boss moves like the emperor does the emperor gives direction so um really tap into that energy okay yes it's, uh, it's understandable that you're worried about these things but what are you going to do about it okay what are you going to do about it here if you find yourself left out in the cold, okay, what are you going to do to reclaim power over your back over your life and your finances? Okay. You're meant to do it. Meant to overcome. So let's take a look at the seventh card, Libra, seventh card. Seventh card, Libra, seventh card. The seventh house belongs to you. Relationships and partnerships. I'm hearing I put my life on the line I put my heart on the line somebody put their heart on the line one two three four five six seven life is speeding up okay life is speeding up 
okay things are going to start moving forward okay as long as you tap into that energy and choose to move forward okay um you know if you're feeling a sense of stagnation you have the ability to move things forward you are libra you are the cardinal sign you guys can get shit popping you guys can get shit you know going okay so understand that life is speeding up okay you just you just have to harness that energy okay you got to get in the driver's seat okay let's take a look and see what's going on in your love life okay how is your divine masculine viewing you libra libra how is your divine masculine viewing you Wow, forgiving and learning, okay? Forgiving and learning. So your divine masculine is uh, forgiving you, okay? Or choosing to forgive you. Um, it says, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So your divine masculine is forgiving you and learning. Okay, um, some of you could be dealing so with someone who's slowly forgiving you, okay? They're not so quick to forgive you okay but they are um let's see here also they're wanting you to forgive them okay they want you to forgive them as well let's see here okay let's deepen this reading you also need to forgive yourself too Libra. This is showing me. okay let's deepen this boat the boat receiving what you need progression arriving moving on closure issues wow right here closure issues so they want you to just forgive and forget pretty much that's for <laughs> that's for some of you libras if your divine masculine wants you to forgive and move forward they want um the issues closed they want closure okay they want to be able to move on okay they want to progress move forward um all right, they want you to forgive them, but that's up to you, okay? There still seems to be some choppy waters I see here for some of you. Okay, oh, wow, this popped out. Finances and career, so for your divine feminine, it says financial issues are a factor in your love life right now, okay? Your, your divine feminine feels like finances and career is the main focus, okay? Your divine feminine maybe doesn't feel secure, okay? Maybe you don't feel secure enough for your divine feminine, okay? Someone seems to be focused on money and their career um, status as well. There is an energy of that. There could be a third party situation with the third party could be just um, solely just work, being a workaholic. There's somebody who's a workaholic. Maybe your divine feminine feels like you're a workaholic, Libra. You're always working or putting work first, putting money first. Okay. That's deep in this reading. Wow. Seduction. Oh, goodness, Libra. So, <laughs> attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, interference. Wow. So, this could be very well. You could be seduced by the money, seduced by status. Your divine feminine feels this way about you. You're only focused on security and maybe what you can get. Okay. That's for some of you, not all of you. Okay. Um, okay. Maybe your divine feminine is attracted to you because of the money and the status that you have okay just take it as it resonates but there seems to be a insecurity here okay this could be something simple like fighting over bills or something okay or if, you know it could be something like that but just take it as it resonates okay this is for fun okay guys i hope you like the reading please like share and subscribe and if you're interested in a reading with me feel free to send me a message to my website and i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the month and God bless.